Chapter 4, Lifestyle Habits. In this group we want to help people consider and understand why values matter so much. Many people don't put much stock in having good lifestyle habits, but as this section will show it can be an invaluable trait to consider. Having a strong range of habits and day-to-day -day life will ensure you can get the kind of help that you need in terms of making sure your lifestyle can keep improving. I found that each of these habits helped me become more productive and positive at home and in the office, ensuring my day-to-day -day would continually improve. 1. What's your values? Why will this help me become more positive? Another set of common issues is not knowing what we stand for. Having values helps us to define where we want to be and, crucially, if our mindset allows it. Applying the action for increased positivity the best thing that I ever done was look to change my mindset. Make sure that your core decisions and values reflect the roles you want to achieve in life. How often should I practice? It's a hard one that takes many hours of inspection of who you are. Look at what makes up your core ideals, though, and see how your world reflects that. Life without this change. Without having or knowing your main values most people will just go from day to day, never really progress into who they want to be. They may progress, but never to where they intended. Life with this change. If you start to make decisions based on if it fits our values, you'll become stronger mentally and more committed to achieving your goals and dreams. 2. What's your passions? Why will this help me become more positive? I found that by finally defining what my true passions in life were, I could be far more comfortable with who I was. My path, my aims and desires became clearer. Applying the action for increased positivity. To apply this action, I simply looked at what gave my stomach a jolt when I thought of it. This feeling drives me to find out more about myself. How often should I practice? Every minute of every day a your passions should never be forgotten. Every morning, just take half an hour to think about how today will help you move towards finally achieving that passion. Life without this change. You'll just go from day to day, week to week, year to year. You'll never improve or define yourself and you'll likely always go down a negative way of thinking. Life with this change. By using this though you become far more likely to achieve success, as you know exactly what your aims and goals are both today and in the future. 3. Creating a vision. Why will this help me become more positive? The most powerful people have a dream, a vision. Make sure that you have a vision for where you wish to be even the example of another person who's successful. Applying the action for increased positivity. Going through with this is very important, as it ensures you'll see continued and repeated success. Applying that action means simply spending the morning arranging what your dreams are in life. How often should I practice? Every day if you can. Few things in life are as powerful as knowing what the dream and aim of your existence is. That half an hour can focus you for the week ahead. Life without this change. Taking the time to understand what your passions and energies are going to be driven by is utterly vital a without it, we just go along from day to day. Life with this change. When you make this change, however, you will see consistent response and progress as you'll be more driven, with an active desire to reach your goals. 4. Inspiring yourself. Why will this help me become more positive? The easiest way to inspire yourself, I found, was to look at all the success you have had so far. How can you get back to that level of success? Applying the action for increased positivity. To do this, simply look at where you have been in your life. How did you get there? How did you feel? 
What's stopping you from repeating that success today? How often should I practice? All the time I never stop planning, preparing or hoping to find the solution that is going to infuse your future. Simply by knowing what inspired you previously, you can go again. Life without this change. My life prior to ever really trying to inspire myself with previous success was very difficult. My self-esteem was ruined and I continually believed all success was just luck. Life with this change. Since the chance, though, I now repeat my old successes fairly regularly. I tend to find that my old success was driven by desire which is now missing when tried today. 5. Challenging beliefs. Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you take a belief that you hold and go against it? I started to recently debate with myself and counter my own points, and it's been massive. Applying the action for increased positivity. Simply go through an argument you would expect to have. What's the point you hold? What's the main counterpoint? Using this helps you see if you've really thought things through. How often should I practice? All the time. Simply learning how to practice those beliefs is going to be very important. By knowing how others may react, you also fill in the blanks in your logic. Life without this change. You'll just always hold the same opinions until challenged and humiliated. The path towards education and success means being prepared to struggle to get there. Are you ready? Life with this change. When you allow this change to happen, though, the glass ceiling is shattered. You'll find it easier to locate factual and honest responses to the problems and opinions you have. 6. Letting go. Why will this help me become more positive? Many of us, myself included, are wrapped in our worldly possessions. From our cars to our TVs, fear of loss makes us vicious. Losing that is the first step towards normality. Applying the action for increased positivity. I simply had to start giving away things at first it was hard, but it got me to appreciate that life went on once that product left the house. How often should I practice? I've so far given away something of value to me every week to a friend, family member or charity. It's helping me appreciate that there's more to life than sofas. Life without this change. I found that without making this change I just continued to be paranoid and negative. The fear of losing my beloved possessions drove me to conservatism rather than fueling ambition. Life with this change. When I decided to give things away I felt emotionally liberated. If you try it yourself then you will see just how easy it is to be ambitious in other ways. 7. Selfish or selfless? Why will this help me become more positive? Following on from the above, a popular choice for helping to make sure that you make smart decisions in the near future is whether you should be selfless or selfish. Applying the action for increased positivity. Simply try and see how you feel when you make a decision for purely yourself, then a decision that hampers you but helps others. What made you feel better? This is the kind of person that you wish to be. How often should I practice? Keep trying until you feel satisfied. From buying something you don't need to giving away a week's wages, there's plenty of ways to practice what kind of mental plan suits you best. Life without this change. Taking the time to do this is going to likely make you feel far more comfortable with who you are. It'll also likely make sure that you know what kind of ambitions you should have. You cannot achieve a selfish ambition by being selfless along the way. Life with this change. On the flip side. You cannot do too much to help yourself if you want to be selfless and always act selfish. 
Finding the way that you feel suits you best is hard work but is going to leave you feeling more secure with who you are, making you feel more positive. 8. Stopping yourself short. Why will this help me become more positive? How often do you find that you sell yourself short? I used to always find that I limited my talents due to a negative outlook on the world in general. Applying the action for increased positivity. To change that, I simply had to look at when I was making choices. I soon noticed how often I made these choices to fit the whims of others alone. How often should I practice? To practice, I started making decisions in the opposite manner. In the past when I would think of others, I would put myself first, and vice versa. Life without this change. I found that my life before this was usually one that involved being unhappy at the expense of trying to make other people happy. Life with this change. However, I find that now I'm much more comfortable making choices that revolve around what I want to do instead of always trying to pander to other people. 9. Defeating Excuses. Why will this help me become more positive? A major problem I had in my mindset was always looking to use excuses as a way to avoid knowing I failed. To change this, I concentrated on my failures. Applying the action for increased positivity. I started to look at why things went wrong, and what my own specific role was. It was the most positive action I could have taken as now I see where I went wrong and no longer blame other people. How often should I practice? This has really helped me come to terms with who I am and the extra practice has ensured I continue to progress. I would recommend practicing this whenever you find yourself excusing a poor performance or stupid mistake on your part. Life without this change. Before I started to really look at my own actions before anyone else, I led a very insecure life. I would feel threatened by everyone and secure with nobody. Life with this change. Now, I'm far more comfortable and have found I'm more positive than I have been, as I can see my faults. 10. Creating, not reacting. Why will this help me become more positive? The most powerful way I have found to handle negativity is to create. I now use that energy for good. Applying the action for increased positivity. It's easy to apply, simply get into a hobby. When things go wrong turn to the hobby instead of reacting. How often should I practice? This makes it very easy to give yourself time to consider a response using creativity to drive your emotions. Life without this change. I used to react wrongly to lots of situations and I would create tension between myself and other people in life. Life with this change. Now I take the time to immerse myself in the idea of what has gone wrong, creating more harmony. Chapter 5, Personal Habits. All right. So in this section we want to take a look at personal habits that you can adapt. Most of these are built around the idea of business productivity. I found the most useful stamp that you can put on your life is a successful, active and busy business life. 1. Simplifying your day. Why will this help me become more positive? The easiest way to make your days easier is to clear away mess first, organize everything so you can work without distraction. Applying the action for increased positivity. The easiest way to do this is to start in the morning, an hour before you need to get productive. By having no mess to bother you, you can just concentrate on enjoying yourself and making the most of the day. How often should I practice? Do this every morning and you'll see major benefits. Whether it's the office or home, this works. Life without this change. Without this change you likely notice that you have major problems staying organized. Days are determined then by how messy the place is. 
life with this change. Making your life easier with this change is a no-brainer it just means having to do an hour's work before you start. The bonus, though, is a much easier quality of life that improves your concentration. 2. Establishing your goals. Why will this help me become more positive? The best part of any project now for me, and you, will be to establish goals. Planning the main goals with the most challenging first will make your life much easier moving forward. Applying the action for increased positivity. The easiest way to apply this is either in the morning or the night before. Simply plan out what you believe is the most difficult task waiting for you, and work on that first. How often should I practice? Getting rid of the hardest task each day will ensure that you have the rest of the day to work on the easier stuff. Leaving harder projects until later is asking for trouble. Life without this change. I was never productive enough and my acumen would suffer as a result. My business was unable to manage itself and carry the right formula forward, and I found that each day would become a random struggle that was hard to deal with. Life with this change. Instead, you can change to this way of thinking it's so much more productive it's nearly not even true. Now, I have all day to handle small problems having used my morning to deal with the real ones. 3. Beginning a project. Why will this help me become more positive? One of the most creative ways I found to inspire my plans and ambitions was to create a project with a plan. 30 minutes per day of non-stop work helped. Applying the action for increased positivity. With this 30 minute window I would work like a beast on the project, then come back the next day. It allowed me to work on a side projects without getting frustrated or worrying it was taking up other time. How often should I practice? I do this once per day, sometimes twice if it's a quiet day. By working on a side project as I go, it becomes much easier to understand and appreciate where I am at with it without sidetracking other works. Life without this change. Without this I used to just make the same errors over and over. I'd continually walk into two projects at once only capable of delivering 50% on each. Now, I give each project 100% at specified times. Life with this change. My life has changed for the better in every conceivable way since I managed this project. It has improved my consistency in business. 4. Developing habits. Why will this help me become more positive? A major part of my transformation from positivity to negativity came from creating more positive habits. For example, I removed distractions from work like smartphones, clutter and computers. Applying the action for increased positivity. By doing this I found that my days became far more productive. By removing distractions I even just placing my phone on silent face down, I would work much harder. How often should I practice? Incorporate this into your day-to-day -day working and a life of annoying problems will vanish. Productivity and positive thinking soars with this mentality, ensuring you'll continue to change and adapt to face the problems head-on. Life without this change. I found that my life before this was simply chaotic. I would never get through a day without having to sit for an hour on Twitter well, these problems are gone now. Life with this change. Now, I get through hours worth of work without having to take a break. My mind stays on the job so I get less frustrated, making me feel less negative than before. 5. Determining productivity. Why will this help me become more positive? The best thing I can offer to anyone reading this in terms of becoming more productive is looking at how you are when you work today, do you complain? Applying the action for increased positivity. 
If you are someone who always looks to complain about a situation, then look to find out why. What is making you feel that way? Also, what's the alternative view? How often should I practice? This really helped me, when I looked at how other people may be seeing the picture. By simply being honest with myself when complaining, my wallowing would soon be over. Life without this change. It's that simple, really, but without this change I would never have become more productive. I would always be put off at the first hurdle, never seeking to clear it. Life with this change. This change became far more effective and simplistic as time went on. I soon learned how to understand that complaining was a waste of time and energy that could be positive, instead. 6. Batching for success, why will this help me become more positive? The best solution I found to making my days easier and more positive was to batch tasks together. This made sure that I was delivering more with every hour worked. Applying the action for increased positivity. How so? Because my mentality had changed. By simply making sure that objects 1-4 were finished before a longer break rather than one alone, I soon found jobs getting finished. How often should I practice? I made this a way of life from now on. It soon became a major part of my life and my overall planning, ensuring I always batched similar tasks together. Life without this change. Without changing this I would live a life still led by negativity. I would find the slightest problem with my perceived schedule would ruin my day, making tasks take longer. Life with this change. I also found that by changing to this system I got through tasks in an easier style. Now, all similar tasks would fall under one banner and be dealt with swiftly. 7. Creating priority. Why will this help me become more positive? By creating a range and list of priorities I found it much easier to get to where I had to be in my life, ensuring that my days never became overwhelming. Applying the action for increased positivity. An hour before bed I would make up a list of what the next day was to unfold with rough time scales for each, meaning that planning was made simpler. How often should I practice? Another major part of my day now was to practice this at night. I would make sure that my plans would become ever more rigid, to see how I handled deadlines like this. Life without this change. I would just be chaotic and take good days and bad days where my work would pile up and become nearly impossible to deal with later. Life with this change now, though? I can live a happier quality of life as I know that my days are more consistent. Whilst there are less good days the bad days are finished with. 8. Waking earlier? Why will this help me become more positive? Simply setting my alarm for one hour earlier has been one of the most positive actions I have ever taken a that extra hour makes all the difference in the morning. Applying the action for increased positivity I just change my alarm by one hour. That hour being up earlier allows me to be more productive and also allows me crucial time to awaken before work. How often should I practice? I now do this every single day. It has been a keystone in helping every other positive action in this book come to life ensuring that I can continue to change and improve my mentality to fit with what's needed. Life without this change. Life without changing the time I woke up at was going to remain hectic. I would go into work still half asleep and find productivity would be down across the day. Life with this change. This change, though, allowed me to easily avoid this problem and instead start working with the greater consistency and positivity. 9. Working in bulk. Why will this help me become more positive? Instead of working in small groups and doing chunks, 
I found it was easy to work in longer bulks of 3-4 hours at a time, with less breaks in between. Applying the action for increased positivity. The reason was quite simple a to apply this to my day I would be more productive, happier and more likely to keep a consistent level of performance rather than peaking and plowing. How often should I practice? I just make this part of my day to day planning for the rest of my life. Now, I work in larger chunks with longer, more relaxing breaks. Life without this change. Before I used to cram in work to reach a short break, and then spend all my break panicking. Now, I can just relax and allow the next part of the day to start. Life with this change. This change has helped me be more assertive and to work more productively. I'm now far less likely to take negative approaches to my working day, regardless of difficulty. 10. Learn to say number why will this help me become more positive? A major issue a I always had was failing to say no to people a it's hard at times, and I used to just go along with scenarios making myself deeply unhappy. Applying the action for increased positivity. To counteract this I simply started to say no it sounds simple, but the first time I forced it out, the easier it was every time after that in future. How often should I practice? Every time I was agreeing to something I couldn't or shouldn't be doing. It made me feel more comfortable and improved both social and business relations with many different people. Life without this change. Life without making this change was very hard a eh? I would usually find myself making mistakes or getting into situations that I had no knowledge or experience of being able to handle. Life with this change. Now, I feel more confident and in control of my future than ever before. I've stopped making the same mistake and instead am now living the life I intended to. This marks the end of this book, 50 Positive Habits by Michael Chapman. Thank you for listening. Kindly click the like button, comment and subscribe to our channel. All copyright belongs to the author.